well. It is currently two in the morning. <laughs> um, I debated whether I was going to do a video on this at all because I don't normally like doing videos when there's a serious situation going on, but I think I feel good enough now where I can do a little, at least a little intro for a vlog that may or may not get uploaded. Let's see how things go. <sighs> Basically, last couple days, Beatrix has grown lethargic and she stopped eating, she stopped drinking, and I've been extremely worried for her. The moment I noticed that it was happening, I scheduled an appointment for her at their usual vet. Now, the vet is three and a half hours away from where we live. And also, usually they can't get an immediate appointment because it's a pretty popular place. <laughs> But, uh, I noticed it quickly, thankfully, and I emailed the vet and called them, and they got an appointment for her, and I first noticed it, uh, noticed this happening probably about Sunday night, and the, but the soonest, I called, or I called and emailed their, or, excuse me, Monday, my brain is so fried, I have not slept at all the last couple days. I wasn't even sure if she was going to make it through last night, or tonight, which is why I'm here at the emergency clinic, uh, because today is Wednesday, and I wasn't sure if she was going to make it to her appointment tomorrow. So I quickly left, packed her up, got the other birds settled in, and uh, drove all the way, <laughs> all the way to Dallas in the pouring rain, I could not see anything on the way, um, but I was so, I, the trip actually took longer, it probably took more like four hours because the rain was so bad and people here are just not the best drivers. They drive kind of crazy. Uh, anyways, it was kind of scary for a bit because not only was I worried about her just keeling over in the back seat, but also <laughs> like getting, uh, pancaked by a semi or something would not be fun either so but we made it and I was very worried because today I kept a very close eye on her uh no well, I've been keeping a close eye on her since I noticed it but she did thankfully finally start drinking shortly before I left and she started drinking a lot of water um but she would still not eat her poop was just completely water. It was all clear. Nothing in her stomach. Uh, you know, I, I've checked her over several times a day for the past few days. Uh, and weighed her and all that, you know, all the stuff that any bird person would know to look for. Well, maybe not any bird person, but um, someone that's more familiar with that kind of thing. Uh, and I keep track of all the birds' weights and weigh them regularly, of course, so I knew that she had lost like, and it's normal for toucans to lose, uh, or to fluctuate weight between, you know, 20, 30 grams because their digestive system so quick, they have no crop, it just goes straight through them, so it's like depending on how much they ate before you weigh them, their weight could be, you know, 470 or it could be 500, you never know. But it's normal for it to fluctuate a little bit, but, and she's normally around right around 470, 480 grams, uh, but when I weighed her yesterday, she was 426, which is, I mean, that's almost as much as Lalo weighs, and he is smaller. Now, of course, Beatrix has always been a bit of a problem bird. She's by far the weakest bird I have. Uh, she's always had more weaker muscles, weaker flight muscles. You know, when I got her, she had respiratory infections, she was on the verge of death, she was wheezing, she was coughing, sneezing, a discharge coming out of her nares, like she was about to die when I first got her, and she was a muscle atrophy because they clipped her wings and kept her in a very small guinea pig cage, a cage not intended for a toucan, or even a bird for that matter, way too small, she could not move, so 
when I got her, she could hardly hop or fly because she was so atrophied. And then she was also just couldn't breathe. So if you're familiar with everything that happened with Beatrix when I first got her, um, you know, I had to give her crazy amount of medicine, nebulizing medicine or nebulized medicine, um, oral medication, you know, she just, and ever since then she's still, she's never fully bounced back, even though she, you know, everyone knows Beatrix is a little angry girl that likes to bite and be violent, but she's always been paler than the other birds, and she's always, even though she can fly, her breast muscle is nowhere near as large, you know, when you feel their keel, that's usually a good indication, the keel that, uh, their sternum, the attachment point for their breast muscles, usually a good indication if a bird is sick, they lose their muscle mass, and you can feel their keel. So, but even it was normal, or it's been normal for, to feel Beatrix's keel, even though she's normal. And that's just how she's always been. So, and I've tried to, you know, I've taken her here, or this parking lot I'm in right now, to the vet, um, and, you know, we've tried to figure out what's going on and why she's not, why she's paler than the other birds, and why she's weaker, and there's just... A lot of money spent with very little answers, even for somebody that knows toucans as well as I do, and a very, very good vet, a very good avian vet. This whole clinic is specifically for birds and exotics, so um, you can find a better place to take a bird, probably, uh, when they only see exotics and birds. So well, the good news is she is stable now. They have her in an like, oxygen chamber with heating and you know she's eating now when I when I first got here she was actually eating and she was finally she had pooped sometime during when we were driving solids so she started eating a little bit again and she was drinking all the way through uh, the trip too but so she's stable now uh, that bill definitely wasn't cheap link in the description if you guys want to help with her it would be greatly appreciated and I couldn't do this kind of thing without you you know the patrons and the people who view the videos and support us you guys help give these birds a second chance especially Beatrix because if I had any other job and this was just a side thing there's no way I could leave in the middle of the night and drive her four hours in the rain to get her help or even be watching her well enough to know that there's something wrong um, and I knew it pretty very quickly and the best indication was the fact that she wasn't trying to bite me as often I was like okay yeah something's up something's up she does not want to kill me and that's unusual I guess we'll find out tomorrow what happens I don't know what I'm gonna do in the meantime I'm probably gonna sleep in my car here in the vet parking lot because I know this is not going to be cheap, and I can't afford to... It just would not be wise to go spend $100 on a room for what's essentially going to be, now that it's a little over 2 a.m., uh, like six hours of sleep, maybe. I don't know if that's worth six hours, because they're going to see her first thing in the morning when the her normal doctor gets in, so... Hopefully they can figure out what's wrong and it's nothing crazy and, I don't know, I'll keep you, I'll, we'll see. Alright, so it's morning now, I uh, didn't get any sleep, but I did go and get some food for Beatrix, and I'm about to go in, just got a call from the vet. And I'm about to go in and talk to her. So, that's about 7, 8 a.m. right now. I can't see the time. <laughs> but, um, I just got off the phone with her and she said she was worried about her. Which, I mean, I mean, that's pretty obvious. I'm pretty worried about her, too. But, I'm gonna head in and, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, 
so I just talked to the doctor and apparently she has rapidly started declining. So um, they're, they got her on fluids and everything and they're gonna do their best, uh, you know, to try to stabilize her, but they cannot run any tests or anything until she poops, which she isn't right now, or uh, until she stabilizes so they can draw blood. And um, even if she does stabilize, uh, she's likely going to have to stay here for several days. Um, and probably in the emergency clinic over the weekend, which is going to be an insane cost. So, uh, I don't know what to do right now, but we'll play things by ear and just see how she's looking today. But, um, I did give her the food for Beatrix at least. I'm struggling to know what to do or say in this situation. I knew things were just going way too smoothly for the past few years. <sighs> um. They, were, they have managed to bring her heart rate back up, um, and she's doing better. I suggested that maybe they try to blend up the food, um, you know, and, and uh, syringe it down her throat if they didn't think she would aspirate, and uh, so the doctor's going to try that, and the problem with toucans is they're... Uh, I mean, birds' metabolism to begin with is quick, but with a toucan, toucans don't have crops. They metabolize their food very quickly. It, it basically goes straight through them. And if they're not eating frequently, they're, they're you know, she's going to grow weak quickly. So um, I'm thankful that there are doctors uh, here that, you know, listen to my knowledge on toucans and take it into account um because i've been to other vets before where they're just like like they disregard everything you say and then just do their own thing <sighs> but um i don't know i don't know if she's gonna make it through today and if she does it's just can only hope that she's stabilized to the point today where she does not need uh, subcutaneous fluids or anything like that. Um, this is the only time I've had a chance to actually. Um, Jesus, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I've been <laughs> trying to keep it together in the, uh, to not break down in front of the doctors and uh, and the uh, nurses and stuff and. I'm just thinking about how stupid that is because now I'm just going to go and record it here for a bunch of like thousands of people on the internet to, to see <laughs> instead. Um, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, this is my only chance I've had like to potentially save one because You know, Ripley, Maeve, Tupac, it was all no warning, just gone. This is the only time I've had some opportunity to These birds weigh so heavy on me and it's it's been difficult for me. I love doing it, don't get me wrong. I, I can't imagine doing anything else, but they're a taxing group of animals. 
and it's hard to not only keep up with them but try to keep up with social media and everything else at the same time and I don't even know what I'm rambling about I'm just going to trauma dump on you guys I guess <laughs> but um, I apologize my way of dealing with sadness is to uh, laugh and uh, I know that's probably a little weird but Anyways, you can see how disheveled I look. <laughs> My beard, I don't think, has been this long and ever. Anyways, um, I'm going to do absolutely everything I can for her, and I don't, you know, Beatrix is a little asshole that bites me every single fucking day. Um, But I love her. And I wish she had not gotten the start that she did. In a guinea pig cage in some girl's, some teenager's bedroom. Pulled from the wild stuck in a teenager's bedroom. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I should do in the meantime. I feel like I should take my mind off this somehow, but... I just don't want to lose another bird. And I know that's part of the job description of when you're trying to rescue animals, you know, you can't you can't save them all. Sometimes they just don't have a good start and no matter how hard you try, it's just not enough. No matter how much money you spend, no matter how much you know. I mean, I'm the toucan expert, right? You know? And, and like, people are always like, isn't there a toucan expert to, like, go ask these questions to? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm the person other people come to, and it's still like, I can't, you know, I uh, of course, I have biologist friends and, and nutritionist friends that I can consult with, and, you know, I'm not formally trained like they are by any means, but I spend more time with them personally and specifically than anybody else that I'm aware of. So, um, you know, I'm very familiar with them, and I'm thankful that the vets heed my concerns and listen to them and you know, use it as a base to go off of, because it helps. I think it's going to help. I hope it's going to help. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not some poorly written Star Wars character that can just heal things with my mind. <laughs> as much as I wish I might be, so I could... If it was just like a really specific, like, you know those things where it's like, those spe specific useless superpowers, like, you can heal things, but only toucans. <laughs> those are the superpowers I need. Or you can talk to animals, but only toucans. Then I can, like, ask her, like, hey, what, what hurts, what's going on, what's wrong? And now it's just like a, you know... I mean, all, all we can do is test, do blood tests and fecal and, uh, you know, hope that she stabilizes enough where medicine can be administered. Um, but if she's not eating again, that's not good. And of course, I'm ram excuse me, I'm rambling now, but yesterday she was not eating very well in the morning. And, um... Uh, she got better towards the evening, so I'm kind of hoping maybe she'll do that again today and they can 
get her some medicine later in the, in the day but and I still have a bunch of other birds at home I need to go take care of I'm, I might have to leave Beatrix here and go take care of the rest of the flock and come back um, or at least maybe that's what I need to do to keep my mind off of things it's just you know spend time with the other birds but um, let's see how she does today. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. But, yeah. Anyways, love you guys. Back again, guys. Um, that just called me, and uh, she's in. Her kidneys are failing, and, um, it's very, very unlikely, if not impossible, that she's going to make it. Uh, they said that they've never seen a bird come back from this, so they're recommending that I um, uh, consider euthanizing her and um, I'm gonna try to if I'm gonna try to give her um another I guess maybe another few hours and see if she can make a miraculous comeback. But they believe that she's immunosuppressed like Maeve I don't know guys I just uh, I'm gonna try to um, I don't know, just think it over and give her a chance to make a miraculous comeback and maybe for the next couple hours, but I'll go and visit with her and you know, the only time she's ever stepped up on me voluntarily was in the last few days. And it made me so happy. You feeling okay? And, uh, you know, she's always biting and stuff, but deep down I felt like somewhere deep inside of her, she knew that I was her friend, and when she wasn't feeling well, she was able to do that, you know? she popped up on me from the ground and ugh. she deserved it. She didn't deserve to have all this happen to her. She's not doing well at all. She's about to 
She's about to go any minute now. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I wish I could have done more. I'll be here with you though. Unfortunately, I've decided to go ahead and make the decision. Um, she doesn't have a lot of time left, but I don't want her to suffer or anything. I just wanted you guys to at least be able to see her, you know, one last time. You guys have done so much for her, and, um, you know, without you, she wouldn't have had the opportunity to have as good of a life as she's had for the last few years. You know, she would have died. She would have died alone. A long time ago. She's still breathing, but she's just not responsive. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to let her go. Oh, well, she's gone, guys. So I held her and, um, we did the euthanasia, so she wouldn't suffer anymore. And um, we have to get a necropsy done and make sure there's no potential danger to the other birds, and um, that way I can donate liver biopsies to uh, Missouri. And uh, hopefully it'll help them with dietary improvements, um, just like I did for Tupac and uh, for Mabe as well. So I don't know what else to say to you guys, but uh, I was hoping when I started this video that it would be a little more positive at the end. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing it with me still. I think, I mean, I've, I took like a 30 minute nap very early this morning, but so I'm just gonna go ahead and drive home. Uh, have to, you know, gotta make sure the other four are okay. Love you guys. And uh, as I said, thanks for kind of being with me this time at least. <laughs>